Today, I'm very excited to start a new video series on this Red Sea Reefer 170. It's a 43 gallon aquarium and Red Sea was kind enough to donate this to us so that we can do an educational series of videos to help you guys get started in the saltwater hobby. We're gonna do a wide range of videos over the next year, trying to bring you multiple videos a week. And we're gonna start off with uh, the plumbing, the basic setup of this tank. We're gonna go through the aquascaping, livestock selection for fish and corals, all the water testing and dosing. And uh, we're even gonna give you an option to post questions on Facebook and try to answer those during our video series. And we have all the simple plumbing parts laid out. I decided to use the Synchro Silent Series pump. This is a model 2.0, rated at about 560 gallons an hour. Now, I did build a pipe connection here with a ball valve because I always like to have the ability to adjust the flow precisely if needed. So we did that and uh, it's a very simple setup. Now we're gonna get our hands dirty a little bit show you how to put it together. Now inside the overflow box here there's three pipes. The first is a return line, a drain line, and a second drain line. So it's a very simple setup, uh, just threaded fittings. There's two sets of threads. You're going to screw this through the fitting in the bottom of the tank and then the second one as well. We'll start with getting this return line in place. It threads in very easily. Just make sure it's nice and snug. You want it nice and tight so it seals. Leak is a bad word in this hobby. Then this return fitting fits right into place there, clips right in, and then you have this second return fitting that connects your return pipe into the aquarium. And again, it's all threaded, so it's real simple connection. There's a return in place. Now we'll go with the drain pipes. First you have the backup drain that goes right into the middle of the tank. Again, you just want to make sure everything is nice and snug so you don't have any leaks. Then here's your main drain. That screws in as well. And now, very simple, is a silencer for the drain that just slides right over the main drain like that. And there we have it. The plumbing inside the overflow of this tank is now done. Now we're going to get into the cabinet and show you what to do down there. All right, here we are inside the cabinet of the Red Sea Reefer 170. We have the sump up here on top is a little top off reservoir you can fill with your RODI water, which will trickle in via a float valve to keep the sump level correct and the salinity constant. We have three lines here. Our first is a return line. It comes with clear tubing and you will need to use cutters or scissors to cut the tubing to length. But first step is to put that onto the aquarium and screw it on. So you do that and then you'll stick your pump on. Now you notice that these are barb fittings. So just push the tubing over the barb and then you'll want to use either a plastic hose clamp or you could use a zip tie, but you definitely want to clamp those barb fittings to prevent that line from ever blowing off and putting water where it shouldn't be. If you use the hose clamp, you'll just use some pliers to tighten it to make sure it's very secure. Now we have two drain lines for the aquarium and they're simple fitting as well. This nut just screws on to the connection of that pipe that you screwed into the overflow box. So this second drain line has a valve on it which allows you to adjust the flow and get the drain super quiet. Well, there you have it. Very simple setup as you can see. Uh, just a return line, two drain lines, and really easy to put together. Now we get to get to the fun part and start aquascaping this aquarium. <laughs> 